Welcome back guys. February 3rd, 2016. It's windy and it's 60 degrees. Uh, it's been in the 40s and off and on 50s and one day almost 70 in January and here we are February. There's the Super Duty. Ain't seeing much action. We plowed three times in January. Three little piddly two inch snows and salted about eh, eight or nine times and that was it. Not seeing a lot of action, but uh, let's get back on this Super Duty. <clears throat> uh, last you saw I had these fenders off. I was going to bring you back to prime them, but I ended up getting ahead of myself as I always do. But this is the driver's side one with the damage in the bottom. It's all nice, so it's ready to go. I broke through a couple spots. <clears throat> I did epoxy prime all my bare steel on this hood. This was stripped to bare metal. Put an 80 grit scratch in it. Uh, you can do the etch versus epoxy debate back and forth all day long, but this is what this one got. I'm not long blocking this. There's no major damage to it. It's an aftermarket hood. It's ripply, but not too terrible. I fixed a couple of dents in it after I uh, primed it the first time. This is actually a second prime. So there's, I put two coats of primer on it the first time of high build. And uh, there was a dent there and a dent somewhere in here. It's got guide coat on it. And there was a little ding here and a little ding there. One of them I could actually see before I primed it up. So I filled it, filled that guy right there. But I've got my DA with a real thin interface pad on it. This is my 330 seconds orbit Dyna braid, only because I don't feel like putting a hook it pad on my uh, more aggressive one right now. This is a real thin interface pad. This is a Kovax um, interface pad. It's probably only a half inch thick, something like that. I like this one because when you get the real thick pads, they tend to uh, sort of take away your cutting power. I just need to be able to get over contours and stuff. I'm going to block this with the DA. I'm not going to screw around blocking this with a long block and 320 and then 400 and 600. It's going white. I'm not going even going to go past 400 on the fenders. I'm going to go 600 on the hood um, just because I want it nice. The rest of the truck's a turd, but it's the way I do them. They never match when I get done because they're always nicer than the rest of the vehicle. So I'm just going to block this out with the DA. <clears throat> and I've already started on the one side, but it's actually cutting real quick. Um, take the blowgun to this and then zoom in on it. <clears throat> I got a real slick coat of primer on it, so it's good. Got my exhaust fan running, leaving the door open. It's actually pulling warm air in. It was only 55 in here this morning. I just went over this one pass real quick with the DA and for these kind of jobs where you're not trying to block them straight, if you run the DA in an interface pad, some experts might tell you different, but if you run that over at any ridge you have or ring you have around a body filler area, it'll level it off enough as long as the primer is good and cured. Um, this has been sitting 24 hours and I put accelerator in it so it should be good but it'll knock that ridge off and you'll never see that ring. <clears throat> now, if primer's not cured, you'll be in trouble, but um, I mean, there's just a little bit of orange peel in it. It isn't even bad. And if I wasn't so lazy, I'd put the interface pad and a hook it pad on my other DA. So we'll show you real quick how one side of this goes. Wow, didn't want to focus, the camera's cold. tend to load up quite a bit when you're seeing a primer. So keep a scotch bright in your pocket and just knock the dust off or tap it. You don't want to pound on these or run the scotch bright on it. 
when it's running because the 320 grit on a red scotch bright will wipe out of one of these 400 grit discs pretty quick. And blow your work off frequently because I know I've got dirt in this and if you catch a piece of uh, dirt on this you'll leave a big pigtail in it. Um, some guys like to long block them. I normally do but I'm not going to long block this. It's just it doesn't need to be that straight. they load up real quick. I think it's got a ton of primer dust on it, but I want to show you something, but I'm going to block the rest of this with the DA off camera. This is what I mean by this thing is ripply. See if the camera will focus so you see a dark spot in here. That's not body work. My body work is way over here. That's actually a rippled spot in this hood. I mean, it's just not all that great of a stamping. We'll block that till the orange peels out of it, but it's it's that way across the whole hood. I've actually got body filler in it right in here, and that's flat, but you know, low spot, little bitty low spot. I mean, the whole hood's like this. So, I mean, you could dick around and polyester prime this if you wanted a real nice straight truck, but she's not going to the uh, SEMA show. I like to say that a lot good enough for the girls who are going to ride in this one so talk to you in a little bit all right that's done with the 400 grit I had to take a soft pad and get these edges one thing you need to keep in mind if you're using a DA sander to do this or any kind of power sander stay away from the edges um, you want to keep the sander as flat as possible but when you're getting up on an edge you can kick it up a little bit to try and get to this edge or something like that um, just don't make a habit of it but all the orange peels gone I can't see any remnants of the body work so we should be good and then I'm just gonna take that's a piece of 600 grit there and I'll buzz over this whole thing real quick and scotch bright my edges and then I'm gonna flip this hood over and mask just to the hemline underneath it here um, plus the bottom of this hood is kinda gross too it's dirty it doesn't appear to be oily but and we're already starting to get some sheen on it. Once I hit it with the 600, it'll all, almost start to get a little bit of a, more of a sheen to it. So that's all I'm gonna need to do to this, and uh, that'll be that.